Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss this thing that is left atrial enlargement. So guys, you must have followed me on Instagram and then on Instagram I showed you this x-ray and I asked you guys what are you able to see whether it is left atrial enlargement, whether it is a right atrial enlargement or it is both A and B, both A and B. So guys, the answer for this question is both A and B. And I will explain you in this video why the answer of that question is both A and B. By this image, we can see that there is right atrial enlargement as well and there is left atrial enlargement as well, right? So guys, beginning with the very important sign, important sign that you are going to see in left atrial enlargement is the double atrial shadow, double atrial shadow. So guys, today in this video, we will study how do we get this double atrial shadow, double atrial shadow, right? So let me explain it to you. So in this image, we can see that this is one heart border and this is the second heart border. So this second heart border that you can see here, this is due to the, this is due to the left atrium, left atrium. So now let me explain it to you guys, right? So guys, if we see, if we look at a normal chest x-ray, normal chest x-ray, right? So this is how, this is how your heart looks like. This is how your heart looks like, right? And you know, both the atria, they are lying side by side to each other. Both the atria, they are lying side by side to each other. So what happens guys, you know, the right heart border, okay, the right heart uh, shadow of the left atrium, Imagine this is the left atrium. This is the right atrium. So the shadow of the left, uh, the right shadow of the left atrium is not visualized separately. Okay. Because it is lying, because it is lying adjacent to the right atrium, you are not able to see x-rays are falling like this. X-rays are falling like this. Right. And guys, we have right border hai, right border hai of the left atrium you know it merges with the it merges with the right atrium right so this is not seen separately and what do we what do we see on the x-ray this is how your chest x-ray looks like this is how your heart looks like okay so now guys let me take up a case of left atrial enlargement left atrial enlargement right so what will happen in case of left atrial enlargement you will see guys you will see that your size of the heart it increases okay your size of the left atrium it increases okay so now what happens guys now what happens okay now if the x-rays are falling if the x-rays are falling like this on this uh, left uh, on this left heart border right you will see you will see that this right heart border it will form a separate shadow and the right border, the right border of the left atrium, okay, this is your left atrium. This right border of the left atrium, it will again form a separate shadow, right? And this is, guys, this shadow is basically giving you the double density sign or you can say your double density sign or your double atrial shadow, right? So, guys, the other signs, the other signs that we are going to see, the other signs that we are going to see in a patient with left atrial enlargement ill pit your straightening of the straightening of the left heart border straightening of the left heart border right and we are also going to see that this carinal angle okay this carinal angle it will be widened okay so we, we are going to see widening of the carinal angle so now guys why why do we see how did i commented upon right atrial enlargement in this patient right atrial enlargement in this patient right so guys in order to call in order to call an x-ray as a right uh, in order to identify right atrial enlargement in an x-ray guys what we have to do guys we have to measure this distance of the right heart border from the vertebra okay from the vertebra so if this distance is more than 2.5 centimeter from the vertebra Okay, then we can say that this is an x-ray of a right atrial enlargement. Okay, and guys, what are the cases? What are the cases in which we are going to see right atrial enlargement? Okay, 
so we are going to see a right atrial enlargement in a case of tricuspid regurgitation tricuspid stenosis and f chain anomaly f chain anomaly and talking about left atrial enlargement we are going to see in mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation right so guys these are other x rays which are again showing you the straightening of the right heart bot widening of the carinal angle double atrial shadow double atrial shadow right so in these patients you will see only isolated la enlargement in these patients you are able to see isolated la enlargement okay but if you look at this x-ray guys if you look at this x-ray you can see that this right heart border is more than 2.5 centimeter away from the away from the vertebra so in this case we can say that this x-ray is showing you the right atrial enlargement okay so guys uh, there is an offer that is coming up by the unacademy right and what is this offer so you can get this unacademy plus subscription at a very low cost of just 299 rupees okay so today is the last day for the subscription to avail this offer okay to get the unacademy subscription at such a rate okay so you can use this code himanshu mamsi and this will you will be uh, able to apply for this offer right so i would definitely ask you guys ki aap isko avail kare because it is available at a very low cost right and it is just equivalent to a free subscription and you should not miss this chance right so guys i hope that you have enjoyed this video so we will again meet okay in the next video till then guys bye bye take care keep working hard